I'm going to be capturing live the Gigabyte Aero 16X Sony 4K 10-bit H.264, H.265. We're going to be doing 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, 120 frames per second. We're looking at 6K B-RAW, 6K RED footage, all the playbacks on these to see how well this laptop can play back this footage. Now, on top of that, we're going to be diving into Lightroom Classic and Photoshop to see how long it takes to open some raw photo files and then process some of those files with AI Denoise to see how fast this laptop can handle AI functionality in the real world. Now, first and foremost, we're going to jump right in here to my screen so you can see what's going on. You can see the footage is pulled up here on my screen and we're going to go ahead. We're on full quality playback and we're just going to go ahead and click playback in the timeline to see how well this device plays back. And what we're going to be looking for is any dropped frames on this device. And as you can see right here, zero drop frames. This is 4K, 10 bit, 4, 422. And this should be our H.264, right there, H.264 footage. And so as you can see, this clip, zero drop frames, it is a 30 plus second clip already, and we're not seeing any drop frames, so doing really well on H.264. We're going to turn the audio down so you can hear that. And now I'm going to go ahead and jump over and switch to another resolution here. We're going to come down here to some more A7. S3 footage. This is 50p, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be. Uh, let's change the sequence settings, and let's see here. We're going to close out, switch over. Oh no, nope, we got to do this here, and we're going to check our media properties. Here we have HEVC H.265 4.20. 50 frames per second, and we're going to go ahead and play this back in the timeline and see how it handles. So far, we're looking at zero drop frames. Really nice, smooth playback here in Premiere Pro. No fan noise that is loudly audible from the device yet. We have a little bit of the fan running, but it has not ramped up to cool the machine in order to run this footage on the timeline. So really nice to see that this is running cool, running quiet while we're scrubbing through this footage. Still zero drop frames, as you can see on the timeline, looking really good for the Gigabyte Aero 16X. The next thing I'm going to go dive into is 120 frames per second right here. And we'll do that once this one finishes off. As you can see, zero drop frames, full quality playback. This is the RTX 5070 doing really good a whole minute with no drop frames. All right, next up on the timeline here, we're going to do 120 frames per second, change sequence settings, and I'm going to go ahead and grab you the media properties again so you can view that. And as you can see, eight, uh, 422, 120 frames per second, H.264 from the A7S 3 This is 4K footage, and here we go. And we got some drop frames there. 120 is very heavy footage. Uh, if you've watched the videos with me before on this type of playback, not, I have, well, let me say this. I've not seen many computers that can play back with zero drop frames. We're at 289 in the first 15 seconds. And now we're starting to get some fan noise here picking up. See the first 30 seconds, 425 drop frames, not bad though. That is actually a really, really reasonable, whoop, and we just got a big drop there as it switched. It completely froze up as you can see. I'm still talking and you can see that the project is frozen. Oh wait, it just paused. Hold on. Maybe that's what happened. Let's go play back through one again. It paused and it reached the end of that one. So forgive me, that was not true. It did not freeze up. It just paused. All right, so we're rolling through the playback here. Immediately dropping frames, 148 in the first, 190, about 200 drop frames in the first 15 seconds. But as you can see, it's very usable. Like, you could edit on this timeline, no problem. It's just dropping frames in the background. So it's actually quite smooth. All right, let's click one more time. So you can see it's very smooth. It's just, it is dropping frames. You just cannot tell. So good look on this device so far. Fans are definitely ramping up now. 
Let me go ahead and grab my decibel reader. Okay, I got my decibel reader here. I'm gonna switch over to the camera and I'm gonna stop talking so you can see how many decibels we have. All right, so you can see 53 to 54 decibels of fan noise while scrubbing through this 120 frames per second footage, 4K. And I'm going to switch back over and we're going to see at one the one minute mark how many frames it dropped. But as you're seeing on the, top, on the actual image, 662 drop frames. That is very respectable. Uh, I was reviewing some laptops with the 4070s from last year and they were dropping upwards of 1,500 to 2,000 frames in the first minute. So this is doing really well. And again, if you've watched my full roundup video and if you watch the dedicated reviews, this is, in my opinion, one of the best bang for buck laptops that I'm seeing in 2025, especially when you find it on sale. Again, uh, if you haven't watched, in the links in the description below, you can check the live pricing. If you wanna make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. But this is truly an incredibly strong bang for buck laptop. All right, I'm gonna go close this out now and move on to some 6K B-RAW footage. All right, now we're in place. Uh, full quality 6K B-RAW. The fans have slowed down. I'll give you a little preview of where we're at with the fans now. Down to about 47 decibels of fan noise. So almost cut that by 10 decibels. And we're gonna go ahead and play. Now I know I'm doing a little bit of cheating here, but I've actually run this for one of the uh, dedicated reviews. So I know that the fan, uh, fan, the drop frames on B-Raw are quite minimal. Forgive my yawn. I think we're around 200 drop frames for the entire timeline. As you can see in the first 30 seconds, zero drop frames, full quality playback on a laptop that on sale is $1,300. Really great performance and i love the aluminum build quality it's it's a good deal for sure all right we're almost a minute in still zero drop frames on 6k b-raw now the fans are picking up see there up to 55 decibels and climbing Just tap 58 decibels. So it's gonna be anywhere from 55 to 60 decibels to play back on full quality, um, just continually. Now, if you're pausing and editing, it may or may not you know, run your timeline. But as you can see, smooth timeline playback in Premiere Pro for 6K B-RAW. Let's go ahead and grab 6K RED footage. Full quality playback. First 20 seconds, zero drop frames. Once again, smooth playback. So we're not wasting too much time. Let's go ahead and jump over to the 8K B-RAW. And all right, here we go. All right, right there. Now we're getting some drop frames. Let me go ahead and start it one more time. <clears throat> You can definitely see it's choppy for sure on 8K. Not as usable as the 120 frames per second 4K footage was. But that was, that was pretty good. It's kind of picking up, smoothing out a little bit. So it drops 69. There, now, see now as it loops back around and keeps going on the timeline, it's smoothing out quite a bit. Yeah, that's looking much better, but still, still drop, uh, still at 69 drop frames. Let's go ahead and go to the start and see right off the start. Yeah, see off that start, it drops quite a bit, and then it stabilizes after that. 15, 15. Yeah, so it just has to really get geared in, and then it starts cruising. Let's check, uh, let's go back and check the thermals, or not the thermals, the fan noise. 
58 decibels of fan noise. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and switch us over to Lightroom Classic. And we're going to open up a series of raw photo files to see how well this thing can handle opening up a mass of raw photo files. And then we'll go ahead and jump into AI Denoise in both Lightroom Classic and Photoshop and see how long that takes. Got my stopwatch here and we'll dive in in just a second. All right, we are now opened up inside of Lightroom. I'm gonna grab 99 raw files from my Fujifilm X-T2. And then we're going to import these and see how long it takes to import. I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer here. Switch over. All right, there's the stopwatch. And here we go. Imports. Watching the progress bar up here in the corner. All right, just about there. Eighteen, about eighteen point two five seconds. If I shave off that, you know, half second where I'm trying to like hit the button, and let's go ahead and scroll down here, and let's do some AI denoise. Right click. Click right here for the AI denoise. Reset my timer. Go. About 12 seconds, about 12.75 for that one. Definitely took a little longer than I expected. All right, now let's go ahead. Yes, I really want to quit and let's see how Photoshop handles AI denoise. Got my timer pulled up again once this loads up. Okay. Get started. I'm going to right click, enhance. Okay, the denoise feature, key, there it is. It keeps moving on me. Right, I'm going to click the denoise feature and start. They moved it on me. Okay, about nine seconds. All right. So respectable scores here out of the Gigabyte Aero 16X. Good, good, good playback for 4K and 6K and then even 8K. I was really impressed by the 120 frames per second uh, from that A7S3 footage, H.264, H.265, all the codecs, smooth playback. Again, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the Gigabyte Aero 16, actually, you can head down in the description below, click those links if you do make a purchase. I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you, but of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. I'll see y'all in the next video.